We've just arrived to Rotterdam. Look at this view. It's a little bit scary if you look directly down, but out there, so lovely. I almost miss my flight on my way to California. If I close my eyes, I'll get there in no time. There's something about the silence. Unfortunately, we're only in Rotterdam for like less than 24 hours. We're also here on a Monday, so a lot of things are closed that I had on my list to check out. So that's unfortunate, but we have some vouchers for drinks and food here, and there's also a sauna. So I think we're just gonna make the most of this beautiful hotel and then also just wander around. We've gone out for a little coffee and lunch earlier. I just don't think I'm gonna get any thrifting in while I'm here, which honestly, I'm not mad about. I probably need to have a little break. Time to go to dinner. What drink are you gonna get? I got the roast one. Enjoy. Alrighty, we're time to head to our next destination and it really got me thinking about how the highlight of traveling Europe via rail has been to slow down and just explore the in-between locations. We've really been making the most of our Eurail Global Pass and balancing out the big city stops with the more low-key places. The smaller and more quaint spots feel like an authentic experience of the countries we were ticking off. It's almost like we're getting a taste of the local specialties all while taking in the beauty and stories that fill the streets. When we plan our next trip, we'll definitely be prioritizing checking out more of the off the beaten track destinations again. Just wrapped up a little bit of filming with the Eurail guys, trying not to get hit by bikes. Not used to this. Um, and now we're going for a little wander, gonna get a coffee, gonna go have a lunch with the team. They're so lovely. It is literally a stunning day. Can't wait to explore. <laughs> it's stunning here. We've got a full day here tomorrow to explore and I'm excited. I've got a voucher for a store. I've got a lineup of cafes to go to. Oh my god, this is so good. Apple ones are the go, hey. Mm. We're pooped. We've been up for a long day. We're gonna eat these donutty things, have a tea, go to sleep, and explore tomorrow. Darcy's made a cute coffee. And then we've got one of these little apple oli olibon? Oli bolin. Oli bolin for breakfast. <laughs> oh, for a little snack and then we'll go find somewhere later. today was to tick off some cafes which are a bit of a walk away from where we were staying so then as we made our way back into the town center we could zigzag through all the secondhand stores I had pre-saved on my maps as well as just taking our time to admire all the magic scenes along the canals
branch it out, like what's sustainable about it. So for example, this one is made from eco-friendly materials and the brand is uh, Fairtrade. Didn't get a chance to go there yesterday, but it looks cute. Oh my god, actually looks so nice. Damn it. <laughs> Our last coffee in Ultrick, and then now we're heading to Amsterdam today. fabric and we're really getting tight on the amount of room left in the suitcase but so far we've been to one shop and it was incredible we spent so long in there so Amsterdam off to a good start Whenever I lose you, I just look for the big red beanie. <laughs> wow. I'm honestly so glad we chose to come during the shoulder season for this trip. Not only were the autumn tones so vibrant and mesmerizing, but for someone who doesn't love to have an overflowing or too structured itinerary and instead be open to seeing what pops up, it meant that we could make the most of cafes or restaurants we spontaneously stumbled across, saying yes to experiences or events that we may not have even known about before coming here, and even picking gallery days for those off-weather moments without having to book too far in advance. We just followed wherever things flowed easily, and to be honest, we've been so lucky with our seamless this whole URL adventure has been so far. Also, coming in between the busy seasons meant thrifting sales were abundant, which really helped with the budget, but definitely not so much with the suitcase space, which was getting tighter and tighter with every vintage gem I found and added to my collection. My family's all here 
this town full of people. Great little bar. I love that place. So I go to visit once a year. So split down the middle. You cut an eye it's so yum. Yum. Good. Good morning. We've woken up to a mostly clear day. It hasn't rainy. rained on us yet. <laughs> Checked out of our other place and we have moved to a place like more central now. And we walked to a place which was meant to be nice for breakfast and there was a massive line and then you like check in to like, get your spot and it said it was gonna be an hour and a half wait before we got a table. And then we ended up just going to a cute place on the corner and it was like so much more enjoyable and chill. I just can't handle an overcrowded place. Like I get if somewhere has good coffee and good food and I get the hype, but I just don't ever think it's worth the overcrowdedness personally. So the cafe on the corner was way cute and we got an epic meal. They were really lovely. They were playing Angus and Julia Stone. But now we are going to find our way over the other side because apparently there's the biggest markets in Europe. Uh, in Amsterdam this weekend so I'm gonna go rummaging through some flea markets which we haven't done yet so I'm excited to like just do one big one and get it over and done with and I might have to send a package home because I have no room in my suitcase we spoke too soon it started raining but surely that's a good omen seeing a rainbow I think this is the building where we're going so turns out we were actually a week early for the markets woo i swear everywhere i read said it was on this weekend but i guess it just wasn't meant to be either way it was still cool to come check out the north side and all the industrial installations and we ended up at this really vibey industrial place for lunch and drinks which was looking over the water and then we caught the ferry back over to the central station It is probably the most beautiful day we've had. Look at that sunshine. Honestly, today we don't have much plans. We might catch up with some friends that have moved here from Australia later and then go get coffee, go explore. Maybe we'll pick a different area today to walk around and just see what we stumble across. That's what traveling's all about, right? And then tomorrow we've got the gallery booked in. We felt like we'd explored the south and central parts quite well over the past few days so today we opted towards heading in this direction as I'd had a few recommendations to check out this particular strip of vintage stores and cafes. So I guess let's see what we can find. I just can't do the crowds, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait now for a coffee and a croissant. It looks cute though. but. Just have to get there early or later. I personally get really anxious around places that are too crowded, so I'm glad we decided to find somewhere else for our caffeine hit. It was much more enjoyable just being able to sit back and take it all in without getting too overwhelmed. And on that note, let's go have a little trawl through some of the thrift stores as we zigzag our way around this area.
well. The good weather only lasted for one day. We're back to hot girl rain jacket weather. Now I have a sick stomach and we're walking to the museum. But I feel like the little walk will be good. Yesterday we had the most epic late lunch. It was like a five course vegetarian meal. The flavors were beautiful. And we were so full after that that we just ended up having a chill night in the hotel room because it started raining again and we we're still booking stuff for the rest of the trip so we just did like got on top of editing and booking and planning stuff and chilling out which was nice and then today we are off to the van gogh gallery museum whatever it's called i'm gonna check that out it's like it's perfect gallery weather let's go hide inside see if we stumble across any shops but i'm happy if we just take it slow that's our plan see how the day goes I don't think I'll ever get over this trip. It's been such a dream come true. And I couldn't think of a more perfect partnership of coming over here and being able to delve into two of my passions that truly light me up, which is traveling and thrifting and slowing down in general and just being able to explore these new parts of the world for us. It's been such an honor to capture it all and share it. And I truly hope that you've enjoyed following along this journey. Grateful isn't even a word that summarizes how I feel. It just goes so beyond that. And it's something that I will never, ever forget. And if you have been following this whole thrifting journey, I am doing a roundup of everything I've found. So keep it out for the video where we go over everything that I got. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you guys in the upcoming videos.